Volleyball World Championships are in the Netherlands as this magnificent tournament reaches its climax. Numidor and Varenholz taking on Pedro Solberg and Evandro. These were the teams arriving earlier. This is Pedro and Evandro getting the uh, cheer on from their coaches. And in typical Dutch fashion, Varenholst and Numidor arriving. All the action to come right here in The Hague. Welcome to the Hofheide for our first semi-final from the men's event. Clay Lucas here with you. This is what's happening. The fans are filling in nicely to this magnificent venue, the Stadium Court. It's been yep. built on a pontoon right in front of the Parliament building. And everyone is hoping that they will have the best view. And this is currently how things are. The team just going through the final phases of their warm-up. And it is hot, hot, hot out there on court. So too will the action be a little bit later on. Evandro, well, it's going to be an epic battle between him and Varenhorst. These two guys operating at least a metre and a half above the net. The net's 2.43, about the same height as a crossbar in football. And these boys are way, way above it. And then we've got the battle on the sand as well as Numidor and Pedro will be hustling it out to keep it off the sand. It is a day for sun cream. It's a day for ice cream as well. And these are the conditions. It's uh, going to get hotter as the day continues. There's very little wind to worry about. It won't affect what's going on on the court. It's well shielded by the seating. If you want to get involved, please do on Twitter. Hashtag FIVB World Champs. Social media is buzzing. And it's buzzing here as well. And there isn't a spare seat for this one. The number one seeds, Randy and Numidor. And Christian Varenhorst have made it this far. They have one more hurdle. They can make it through to the final. That would be something very special. This is how the draw looks. Numidor and Varenhorst are up next against Pedro and Evandro. And then it's Alison and Bruno taking on the USA's uh, Lucena and Bruna. Your first official today, the man in charge, is uh, Wang Lijun from China, and he'll be ably assisted by the USA's very own Dan Apple. Wish those two the best of luck. We'll know if they've had a good game because we won't notice them. It's all about the action on court, and when the players aren't involved, the beach girls will be. So there is plenty to keep your eyes on during the course of this match. So out onto court comes Pedro. Solberg, Salgado. He's 29 from Rio, and he has 15 gold medal put to his name on the World Tour, and uh, $791,000 in prize money. His playing partner, Evandro, just 24 from Rio, and he has two gold medals and $189,000 in prize money. These two are a relatively new pairing, but goodness me, they have burst onto the scene and made a real impact. And they are just one game away from the World Championship final. However, in their way, the fan favourites, the number one seeds, the hometown boys. It's reigned in Numidor, he's 38. He has 11 gold medals. He has half a million dollars in prize money. He's one of the greatest players ever to represent his country indoors and on the beach. And his playing partner, the young 25-year-old from the Hague, Christian Varenhorst, receiving a rapturous welcome. He has two gold medals, all achieved with Reindeer Numidor since they paired up together last season. He's got $204,000 in prize money. Final exchange of pleasantries before this one gets underway. It's a best of three set match. We play rally points. It's the first of 21 in the opening two. If we go to a decider, it's the first of 15. You have to win by two clear points and there's no cap. The fans are ready, the players are ready. We can get this one underway. 
It's the Netherlands in orange serving. It's Brazil in yellow receiving this, the semi-final from the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. And the first point goes the way of the home side with the unforced error from Evandro. More trouble here for Brazil. Well, the advantage that the Netherlands have, of which there are a few actually. One, they played all their matches here. Two, 99% of the fans are cheering for them. And three, they've just got off to a cracking start. Another good serve from Varenhorst. Oh, and a great block to back it up as well. Well, it's always going to be a great battle, these two guys operating so high above the net. Evandro deciding he wanted to hit his way out of trouble, and Varen Hall said, uh-uh. Well, no wonder Brazil have called timeout. Hello, guys, welcome to The Hague. Cracking block from Varen Horst. needs to be said really, it's more a case of, uh, okay, let's go again, shall we? Now we know what to expect, let's come out and start playing. So there are a few Brazilian fans dotted around, but it is mostly a sea of orange here. Another roar again, Baron Horst gets ready with the serve. Brazil desperate for a side out. Oh, good leave. That was close. And a huge roar as well. As uh, Pedro tries to get himself fired up. Evandro now with the serve. He's got a big serve as well. He thought Baron Horst was good. His can be even better. Oh, lovely Chester from Pedro, and a great finish as well, that's quality. Any part of the body will do. And I think some of his football skills coming to the fore, lovely play. Little peck squeeze, up goes the ball, and then down it goes. It's amazing, time out, two points back, one in it, game on. Pedro breaking, Evandro not getting to the net. They both have the ability to block for Brazil and they will employ a 50-50 blocking system so they can try and keep pressure on at the net. Pedro, though, not as good as Evandro and he's going to have a job to stop Varenhorst especially if he's not in the net. So we have the side out, we have the end change as well. 4-3. And then he thought that uh, the Netherlands had of running away in the first set. Now being dispelled. Nice from Baron Horst. One thing to watch out for for him, he just showed a glimpse of it there. He doesn't open his shoulders up, he doesn't have to create a massive swing to come in. He'll stay square on and then he just fires his hand through the ball, but he can hit it as hard as anyone else can when they open up fully. Green days, and the fans thought the same thing as well. The flag took a while to go up. It certainly beat Evandro. Unfortunately, though, it just beat the line. Whoa, that was close.
There's a net fault against Numidor. Brazil have levelled now. but it won't come back, didn't catch the uh, bottom of the net to keep it in the air a little bit longer to allow Avandro to go after it. So side out for the home team and the advantage. Touch, Numidor having a chat with Dan Appold about that and then apologising. But uh, they are going to look for everything and anything they can. Numidor just felt that uh, Pedro touched there, but actually it was Van Hors hit the net. As he goes through here, his hand comes through and brings the net down. Line. Two point advantage for the Netherlands. Baron Horst. His last serve was really just a shooter, and Numidor saying, Look, mate, just go and get your hands on the ball. I don't know which way it's going to go. Put something up, I'll run around it. Well, he could have run around that, couldn't he? It was just chipped over the block, but it has to go so high over the block. That's above the height of the antenna. There is time for Numidor, but he took too long. Evandro, deep breath from Evandro as he sets himself for this serve. It's a belter brilliantly dealt with by Numidor. Oh, that's sublime. Falling backwards, looking at the sky, seeing the ball, knowing he had very little room to work with. But this is pinpoint perfection. That's good. They drive it and putting that one behind, just trying to disrupt the call signal that said the Netherlands would have had because that was based on Pedro going in front, so now it all reverses. Pedro still finds the line. It's a problem that Numidor had against Russia's Semenov in their last game. The ball too low, too far inside. You can't hit your way past that kind of block. Ivandro is miles up. He had that close down. He was so close to it, there was no angle for Numidor. Baron Horst and Ivandro are bringing an indoor block to the beach. And that makes it so, so impressive. This, though, is equally impressive. Numero knows the blocks there, and again, he comes up with a delightful cut shot. Once again, Baron Hall's probing for that baseline. doesn't find the sideline. So an error from Numidor, he can't quite believe it, and at the technical timeout, Brazil lead by one. He certainly had Evandro beaten the back row, but unfortunately he didn't find that sideline. Players take to their seats, the beach girls take to the sand, and it's time to take on some fluids. Some 
injury from the super slow-mo. so tight to the antenna and not giving him any room to operate. There was no line available, that's taken away, and then he takes away the cross court as well. If outside the antenna, there was only one place he could go and Varenhorst sealed it. Can't back it up. So Brazil back in front. Oh, goodness me, did he belt that? The net's still reeling. Unfortunately for the Netherlands, that's all. Cracking shot from Pedro. Bread and butter side out for him. Better from Evander as well, high and wide, and that gives Pedro options. Well, that's the other thing that Varenhorst can do. It's great, Evandro's up there, he's miles up there, there's no question that, but so too is Varenhorst. So anything he puts off the block, high hands, he's pretty much going to win a point. He knows that, and that's exactly what he's done with that shot. Well read by Numidor. Chance to go in front, and the line roll is good enough. Numidor keeps his cool, and he rolls 
Jesse, the Netherlands into the lead. Excellent read, and this is a really good put away. Newell giving Van Horses blocking signals as he comes in to try and stop Pedro once again. And he does stop Pedro. It didn't catch the block, it doesn't find the baseline either. And right at the crucial moment, the Netherlands open up a two-point lead. But more importantly for them now, they have the luxury of knowing if their side act holds, they can side act to the first set. Great swing from Pedro, threading the island needle, as we say, inside the block and inside the defence as well. Cracking hit. But the Netherlands won't be bothered. This is all about their side-out game. Three side-outs, and they've got the first set. Good lead. They have one of them. And that just puts even more pressure on Brazil. They have no timeout. They use their timeout at 3-0 down. This is just about them now battling their way through this one. Well, that one just held up a little bit and started to go behind Pedro, which is why he had to bring the roll shot. Almost a windmill from him. Numidor not spotting it, but equally not prepared to go and waste energy chasing this one down. It's about this moment now, once again. Side out, and they'll have set point. Well, it's a bit tight, it's a bit inside. But Evandro puts it into the net, would you believe it? I wouldn't have expected him to do that. The crowd, though, are going ballistic. It was a great touch from Pedro, but Evandro, instead of rolling it, hits it, and Pedro is furious. Set point for the Netherlands. Good pick up for the set. Van Horst gets the joust. They get the set. Brilliant start for the Netherlands. Wow, 1-0, game on. Well, Brown Mewson, the defending champions from the Netherlands, are out of the tournament. But now, Numidor and Varenhorst are one set away from going to the final and maybe keeping the Netherlands as the reigning world champions. It's all ifs and buts and maybes, but this is brilliant. What a joust. Varenhorst with the strength. The Netherlands with the first set. You watch it all day long, couldn't you, if you're a Dutch fan? Well, time to catch your breath, have a look at the statistics. Three blocks for Van Horst against just the one from Evandro, and he put Numidor down. But they did make one more error. No aces as yet. I won't be surprised if we do see a couple. Here are the highlights. Sets victory. Can Brazil get themselves back into it? We're going to have to wait and see. Pedro. 
and a nice use of the block. That's the start Brazil wanted. Uudor having a swing at it. Straight on to Baron Horsky, shot from the uh, jib camera. But it's a little bit too tight to the net. Baron Hors getting square onto it, trying to cut across his body. And just as we saw in the first set with Brazil at 3-0 down, they took timeout. Now the Netherlands find themselves 3-0 down and they take timeout. Psychological battle at this level when you reach the highest echelons of the World Tour. Get up from the Numador. Wind just blowing into the faces of Brazil here, making it a bit tricky, and that's a great play of Aaron Horst deciding he wouldn't be able to get it and bring it back into play as it touched his block. And Brazil go 4 2 up. Physically, these guys are all very similar. They all match up pretty evenly. It's the mental toughness that separates the great from the good. and then roll in line. Right over Pedro, that's a great shot. Block out, off Baron Horst. Pedro uh, helping the refs by pointing at him as well. from Evandro. I thought there'd be one coming either from him or from Baron Horst at some point. But well, that one silences the crowd. That's pretty much unstoppable. Evandro once again. Good lead this time by the Netherlands. Outside the line. Just a point separating them. No, it was miles out, wasn't it? Baron Horst. Oh, well, Nudo 
ball was off and running after it. I think he tried to convince himself it was going to go out. He knew subconsciously it was going in. Good up from Evandro. It's those kind of shots that are going to be the difference between the two teams if uh, Numero can keep chipping around that block, keep making it difficult, keep trying to frustrate Pedro and Evandro. That's where the Netherlands have the advantage. Especially if Pedro has to go in and block because Evandro won't move so well on the sand. Pedro and Evandro are historically blockers in their previous teams. And that's really good play from Baranhorst. He knew it was tight to the net. He knew Pedro was going to try and play block out. And he was quite fortunate in a way that Pedro didn't manage to play it off his head. He was that high over the net. But he took his hands out of the way and there was nothing to play off. In fact, he did a little duck as well to keep under the net, didn't he? Brilliant from Baranhorst. So we're all square. It's still all to play for. But it's the Netherlands with that one set advantage at the moment. Oh, huge! Block from Varenhorst. And what a time to get it because it puts the Netherlands now in front. Massive. How far across the net was he? Miles. So Brazil call the timeout. Yeah, they are rattled. Just a magnificent world championship. They get better and better with each and every one. This one is no exception. <laughs> from the super slow-mo. That was just a monster block, wasn't it? Numidor with the serve. Andre's had one ace already in the match. pressure he brings, you have to make the decision so early, is it going to be in or out? It was an early call from Numidor, and Baranhorst left it. And Baranhorst will serve and go through to block. Well, Baranhorst knew what was coming, but he wasn't sure quite how to deal with it. Should he break cross-court, in the end he kind of just made a nothing block, and it was easy for Pedro to put it away. Awesome. Absolutely magnificent. That's the world's best pokey set. What skills. There you go, son. Hit that. Thank you very much. Tight, Baron also fancies chances, but somehow Pedro puts it away. Great 
reach from Pedro. Alejandro struggling from the serving line. And we hit the technical timeout, one point separating the two teams. But it's the Netherlands with that one point advantage. Everyone on their feet, everyone getting behind the players, everyone working with the on-court announcers and the music. And it's an ace serve from Numenor off the back of that crowd support to give them a two-point advantage. What a serve. In fact, it was Varenhorst. Numenor will be pleased to have got one. Another chance here for the Netherlands. This will be huge if they can put it down. And they can put it down. Two really big points really quickly. And surely now the Netherlands are in the driving seat in this match. Baronhorst again. Unfortunately, though, it's almost out of the stadium. The chicken wing not bringing it back into play. It looks spectacular. It would have been spectacular had it stayed in play. Well, that's where Baron Horst and Numidor need to keep their cool. Numidor knows he can use his shots. He doesn't have to try too hard. He doesn't have to overdo it. So a quick point back for Brazil to give them belief. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No timeouts left for the Netherlands. Two errors in a row from Van Horst. And Brazil right back in it. It right, and this time the crowd can celebrate. Wow! Well, the referee getting a close up of that one. Watched it all the way, didn't he? Right into his face. Ball square. Evandro goes back. Netherlands will be keen to side this one out straight away. Oh, that's magnificent. What a spike. Numidor bringing his indoor game. He was one of the best swing hitters the Netherlands ever produced. This is why. Wow, somehow Pedro gets under Baron Horst. Baron Horst not dropping his left arm sufficiently into the cross court to stop that one. Block out this time to frustrate Pedro. Quickly gets 
gets in position, opens up the cross and then abuses the block to give the Netherlands the point. Unbelievable. You thought for sure that the Netherlands were going to take that point after Brazil got themselves into all sorts of trouble from the pass. But somehow Numidor manages to play it right back to Pedro and then he can't recover. A little bit of luck for Brazil, just what they needed. New draws of Holland, Holland around the arena. Goodness me, what a serve from Evandro. Chance maybe for Brazil, Pedro. And he's put it away, and Brazil move in front. And the handful of Brazilian fans are on their feet. Some serve, wasn't it? That's the value of the serve, in a nutshell. Evandro once again, line block signalled by Pedro. He's not asking Evandro to go on anyone in particular. He doesn't care who plays it. Big scramble. Free ball for Brazil, and it's given some height just so Numenor can get back into position. Evandro now to increase Brazil's lead. Good dig from Numenor. And a little bit of luck could go a really long way here because it keeps the Netherlands neck and neck with Brazil. Wow. He didn't give up on it. Sand. And then he went after it. Baron Horst. Great swing from Pedro. He had to do something special and he did to get past the block. What a wrap to the line. That one's bounced up over the advertising holdings. Brazil have the lead. Netherlands looking to side out. Pedro's going to serve. He's coming through the block as well. Oh, goodness me! Well, he was trying to drop it short on Baron Horst to stop him from going back out and come back in and deliver a big spike. But he got his serve completely wrong. A gift for the Netherlands. Pressure now on Brazil. Numidor. It's a net touch, and it's a net touch before the ball hit the floor. And that's what they're arguing about. Joust, touch, ball hadn't hit the floor. The right call from Dan Apple. The Netherlands have the lead right at this critical moment in the set. That's too tight, Van Hoel, surely all over it, and surely he is. And now it's match point for the Netherlands. Unbelievable. Two quick points. And they've turned it around just as they did in the first. Monster block from Baron Horst. Numidor with the serve. Brazil have to side out. Oh, and they do. Brilliant from Evandro. Well, it was almost insurmountable, the pressure. But somehow he's delivered. But what an opportunity. It's potentially a golden opportunity now for the Netherlands. As we see that ball hit down again by Evandro. One side out required, and the Netherlands are in the final. Baron Horst. Oh dear, the fans can't believe it. I don't think anyone can. It was a great serve, it came off the net, made it difficult. But Van Hoss couldn't get it over. So now it's a two point game. First to get two clear either wins the set or wins the match. And it's second match point now for the Netherlands. They have a wave of support here.
right behind them. It is carrying them along. Will it carry them to victory? Pedro to keep Brazil in it. And he does. And he silences the fans. Wow. Well, you've got to give these guys credit. They're playing some magnificent volleyball. Pedro with the serve. Numidor. Well, it's taken by Varenhorst. And it is blocked by Evandro. And now it's set point for Brazil. That was a really good serve from Pedro. He put it down the middle. Varenhorst snatched it, but Varenhorst couldn't put it away. Surely. Brazil are going to go after Varenhorst here, that's twice now, he's had chances and he's made a mistake. Are they alive to that fact? Yes they are, they are going after Varenhorst, can he put it away? The chase is on for Evandro, he's got it! It's a free ball, it's another chance, Numidor takes it this time for the Netherlands, it's a bit tight to the net though, oh my goodness! What are the Netherlands doing? And still he won't hear the sound! Oh! And Brazil now take it to the decider. There are no words to describe what we've just seen. We have the Transavia Pichu. So that was just amazing. Time to take a deep breath, take some fluid, and take it all in, or try to at least. Two match points saved by Brazil. Varenhorst even had a swing for the match. That's how close they've come, close they've come and still haven't done it. Here are your stats. That one ace from Evandro right at the beginning to get them 3 0 up, which forced the Netherlands to take that uh, timeout early. But what a game! Here are the highlights. So this is it, for a place in the final, the first to 15 points will take it. Brazil with the serve, teams change ends on every five points. And the first point goes the way of the Netherlands. A massive confidence booster for them. Baron Horst, it's the biggest game of his life for the young man from the hay on home soil. His friends and family are here in the audience. Brazil, get level. Good use. It's another level at which Evandro and Van are still operating. Us mere mortals couldn't even get that high on an indoor court, let alone the sand. needed to have broke from the net. The ball was going behind him, Andrew, he couldn't see the block. It was a good chase from Numidor. Well, that's a cracking hit 
from Evandro. Initiative with the Netherlands. Well, there's an obvious tactical change in there from Brazil. They suddenly realise, hold on. Well, Varanos is looking a little bit wobbly. We're going to go after him. But that wobble seems to have stopped. Evandro, because as high as he hits the ball and as hard as he hits the ball, Varon Horse feels he can get onto it. There's no real beat shots coming, certainly not as often as Pedro would like. And that suits the Netherlands just fine. Magnificent block from Varon Horst. Timeout called by Brazil. Two really important points for the Netherlands. One from the serve, the other from block. And that gives them a huge advantage now. They just need to remain calm. They need to focus. They need to make sure every time they play the ball, if they can't put it on the sand, that Brazil have to play it. No cheap points. That's what they'll be telling themselves. Limbo trying to keep cool to see how high the players get at the net. Head and shoulders over from Baronhorst. That's wonderful, isn't it? What a pick up. That was just the, one of the rallies of the tournament so far in that first set. There's Manon Flea, reindeer Numidor's wife, former international herself, indoors, watching on eagerly, hoping her husband and his playing partner can get through to the final here. They're doing everything in their power to make it happen, aren't they? And they're giving themselves the best possible opportunity. They've had two match point chances in the second set, couldn't take it. They've engineered a lead here in this decider. They need to keep hold of it. But it's a big block from Evandro. The collision at the net isn't a consequence because it's Baron Horst who's through the net. That's a great block. One point clawed back by Brazil. There could be another. They draw the roll, but Numidor's waiting. He'll get a second bite of the cherry. And that's off the block and out of play. Wonderful from Numidor. He kept his cool. He was so quick to point at Evandro to say, hey, that's come off his arm. I know it's gone out, but it's hit him and gone out. The second referee very quick to spot that as well and show the first. Also, the Lions judge had it covered. Numidor. Oh, good swing. Evandro just went high and hard. And he's put it off of Baron Oster's hands and out of play. So there's something for the Brazilian fans to uh, dance about. The band break. Good leave. Another big bomb diffused. As it goes deep past the baseline. Bangor's being given his blocking instructions. They're still going after Evandro. They don't want Pedro, he's got the shots. They want Evandro because they think they can get stuff off him at the net. They nearly did. Numidor ran line. He was just a little bit late, so he was in a position where he couldn't change back to go and chase the ball off the block. So it's a side out for Brazil, but Brazil are working twice as hard as the Netherlands at the moment, in part because they're missing a few serves. Great up. Wonderful play from Pedro, Numenor. This time, he makes no mistake. Sending Pedro to the opposite side of court. It's a great pickup, wasn't it? But Brazil couldn't convert into a point. Enjoying the 
challenge of going after Evandro. And they're making good touches as well. They're making the court seem quite small for Evandro. He's not any clean winners. It's been a blocked touch or it's been touched by Numidor. Deciding no jump serve, he wants to make the Netherlands play. And he does, but he can't keep his shoulders facing the net. He's turned by the ball into the fans, and that's where it goes. Watch Evandro in the back row here. He's in a good position, now he's not. That just about stayed off the sand. Baron Horst all over it. Massive point for the Netherlands. Surely now there's no way back for Brazil. It's the first of 15 in this deciding set. That's huge from Baron Horst. Wow, I think that went through in the, the hands of Baron Horst. It looked to be very little line to work with. Ryan Horst not getting the one hand into the head and the other hand crossed enough. And there was a gap and the ball was put away. Great movement from Baron Horst, he's given himself the room, but Pedro read the shot. Numidor read it but couldn't get to it. And Numidor having a little moan at Baron Horst here. I think he's not having a moan, he's just saying, don't worry about it, son. Next one, that's the important one. Great read from Pedro. And a brilliant put away, it had to go down, he, he managed that. Brazil one behind, Netherlands uh, are receiving here to go two in front. And they've done that with a belter from Baron Horst. Nuredor telling him just to trust himself, go on son, you know you can play this game, that's why you're here, show us what you can do. And he has done. That was a huge side act during the course of all these huge points we've been witnessing. But they have that two-point advantage again. Pedro just trying anything to get a bit of a breather. Yeah, I know, I'll have my glasses cleaned. Numidor with the serve. They've been going after Evangel, they have changed up, and now they're going back again after Pedro here. Van Horst wasn't far enough into the cross court and allowed Pedro to swing hard. And on the plus side, the Netherlands made Brazil work for their point. Cross court block signalled by Pedro. Evandro psyching himself up, he wants an ace serve here. But he hasn't got it! Whoa, that was close! Magnificent decision making to let that one go by Baron Horst. Three points away from victory. Baron Horst with the serve. Oh, almost. He just went too early on the press with his block, and as he was coming back, it hit him. That's why there was a gap between him and the net. And now, as he's coming down, you can see it's on his own side. He almost kept it in play. Pedro looks at Numidor, but tries to serve at Varen Horst, and he's only fooled himself. the run of points so far, it's all gone side out, side out, side out. But it's the Netherlands who stuck those two points at a crucial time to give them the lead. And that's what it's all about, because all Brazil have been able to do is this, which is just side out. They haven't scored a point from serve yet during this last phase of this third set. And if the Dutchies can side out here, they'll have a match point. Evandro, now or never for him, goes with the jumper. Well, it's easily dealt with by Van Horst. Can he put it away? Yes, he can. It's match point number three for the Netherlands. Everybody on their feet.
Everybody willing them to get it done this time. But you know what? They're in another magnificent position. Because even if they don't get it done from serve, they'll have the chance from side out. This is bonus time. This is the free gift. Can they make it count? Baron Horse with the serve. Is it off the block? No, it isn't! There's no touch! And it's all over! The referee gives it out! Brazil can't believe it! They think it hit Baron Horse! The decision's made! And the Netherlands are through to the final! Oh, Brazil are beside themselves! And so too are the Dutch! But for completely different reasons! Did it hit the block? Oh, well, I don't quite know what to say. If you're a Dutch fan, it didn't hit the block. If you're a Brazilian fan, you have just been hard done by. Well, that's sport for you. The drama, the disappointment, the anger and the joy. Oh my goodness me, this is going to go down in history. But for the Netherlands, for all the right reasons, but Brazil are going to be furious. It will take a long time to get over that one. But if the referees didn't see it, and the Lions judges didn't see it, it didn't happen, no matter how many times we get a look at it. Commiserations to Brazil. They played their part in an absolute spectacle here. And congratulations to Baron Horst and Numidor because they're through to the final. And it's not for the players to admit touches, and everyone who plays the sport knows that. Various stats. 2-1 to the Netherlands. In just under an hour, here are the highlights. Our breath. Let's hear from Tim Simmons, who's down on the court with our winners. Christian, this has to be a tremendous match. You played against a great Brazilian team. What was the difference? I think uh, our side out was uh, slightly better than theirs, uh, even though both side outs were really good. I think it was a great match to watch. I think uh, Ifandro, he can serve a little better, but uh, we had some trouble with it. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy we, we played really good. I think. Yeah. Renier, you've had a great career in volleyball, now beach volleyball. Is this your finest moment? Uh, not yet, not yet. I mean, that that, that should be tomorrow. But uh, of, of course, this is a great moment for me. Of course. And uh, with the, with the uh, relatively short partnership, uh, we achieved already great things. But uh, yeah, we are eager and we are hungry, so we want more. You could have another Brazilian team or American team tomorrow. Who do you want to play? I don't care. Okay, don't good luck. Thank you. Well, they don't care. It's all about the here and now. They're through to the final. And waiting for them will be the next semi-final to come. Will they be playing Brazil again, Alison and Bruno, or will they be playing the USA's Lucena and Bruno? That game will be coming up a little bit later on. This concludes our coverage for now. What a game we've witnessed. We hope you enjoyed the volleyball from all of us here. Goodbye.